I have records here. Sorry, I have to put on a record. All right, okay. If you don't mind. Now, I do like a bit of Hans Zimmerman, but I do like Scary too. Sorry, I was just going through my favourite film scores there. Who are you? My name is Edwina Casey, and my production company, Hail Mary Pictures, is producing a film called The Cellar. And what's The Cellar about? The Cellar is a horror film and it's about a successful woman in her 30s called Kira whose daughter mysteriously vanishes in the basement of her house. Scary stuff. And who's in it? <laughs> Alicia Cuthbert. If anybody's seen 24, she's in that. And, and uh, uh, Noah Macken, who uh, is an Irish actor who's in uh, Resident Evil Final Chapter. And where are you filming it? In the county of Roscommon. Sorry, where? Roscommon. Well, would you believe that this isn't all that unusual for the Sheep Stealers? Last year, Kevin Barry's Dark Lies the Island film starring Pat Short, Charlie Murphy, Peter Coonan, Mo Dumfort and Tommy Tiernan was released and the vast majority of it was shot in Roscommon. And then, let's not forget, Chris Dowd's Moon Boy. But why film The Cellar there? The film is partly funded by the Rap Fund, which is a fund that it supports filming in the west of Ireland. We were very lucky to, to benefit from that funding scheme. It was looking at counties in this part of the world. It was really about finding the right look for the film. Roscommon just felt like the right fit for the film because the family move into this a sort of country house. It was important that it had the right look and feel. And the locations? The locations are just beautiful. It's a really cinematic landscape. So like we're really delighted to be down here and to avail of all this beautiful stuff. Let's get down, let's get down baby. What are the main challenges in producing a film? Well, I suppose the big challenge of any filming is, you know, just the production management of it, making sure everybody knows what sort of film they're all making and that everybody's sort of pulling in the same direction to get that film made. And then filming in a pandemic? It's obviously tricky. Everything has to be socially distanced. Everybody has to wear masks, except for the actors, obviously. So you have to be very careful about who comes in contact with the actors. We've got a a Belgian crew as well because it's an Irish Belgian co-production. Our Belgian crew have been isolating in a house for the last two weeks. And testing? We have a, a company called Blue Screen Medics who are overseeing all, all our COVID needs. So we do a lot of rapid testing. It's a test that you get the swab up the nose, like most people, and then it takes 45 seconds to diagnose whether or not you have it. And thankfully, we've had 100% negative, so that's been really great. How long are you sticking about in Roscommon? Filming right up to Christmas, actually. And we're still looking for extras for our final week. So 10stepsextras at gmail.com is the email to get in contact with. That's T-E-N steps extras at gmail.com. And say one was to become an extra, when would one expect to see themselves in this movie? It'll be probably two years before you know it's getting seen by the time it gets made. It goes up to Dublin next to get edited and then it goes to Belgium to get all the special effects. You know, there's a whole edit process that goes into it and visual effects and all that. Hopefully 2022. <laughs> With Tesco, weekdays from 3 on iRadio.